Let's start out with the most basic, which is what is a retrovirus? Well, there are only two other human retroviruses known, human T-cell leukemia virus and HIV, the retrovirus that causes AIDS. Both of these viruses cause cancers, neurological diseases, immune deficiencies, and inflammatory disorders in man. XMRV is only the third human infectious retrovirus shown, and that's what our work just did. It's, it's really been very, very interesting, and um, well, the exciting thing is that Judy can tell you how the virus works, and every one of the symptoms makes sense. It's a simple retrovirus, which means its expression, the on or off, is controlled by just three things. The response to hormones and the response to um, inflammatory cytokines. It's called an NF-kappa B element. So cortisol, which is the stress hormone, turns on the virus very rapidly and continues to have it expressed. So do um, inflammatory events, like as caused by other pathogens, and so do hormones like androgens and progesterones, which also make sense with regard to um, the disease being more prevalent in women. This has way more ramifications than just CFS and ME. Um, what effect might it have on the autism community with this research? We found this virus present in, in a significant number of autistic samples that we have tested so far. So there is tremendous potential for this to uh, potentially be, be uh, mm -hmm. something that will be solvable for the autism community. Mm -hmm. Be linked to a, to a number of neuroimmune diseases, including autism. It certainly won't be all because there are, you know, genetic defects that result in autism, but there are also the environmental effects. There is always the hypothesis that my child was fine and then they got sick and then they got autism. Interestingly on that note, if I might speculate a little bit, um, this might even explain why vaccines um, lead to autism in some children because this, these viruses um, live and divide and grow in the lymphocytes, the immune response cells, the B and the T cells. So when you give a vaccine, you you send your B and T cells in your immune system into overdrive. That's its job. Well, if you're harboring one virus and you replicate it a whole bunch, you've now broken the, the balance between the immune response and the virus. So you could have had the underlying virus and then amplified it with that vaccine and then set off the disease such that your immune system could no longer control other infections and created an immune deficiency.